Jenny has worked here at La Selva for about eight years and she does a lot of cleaning in different parts of the station. But one thing that she does here uh, at my house is she takes care of my plants on the porch here. I think she actually likes the orchids more than the ferns, but she also likes the ferns. And today she noticed something very interesting with one of the ferns. Hoy, por ejemplo, cuando vine en la mañana, observé en el helecho, por ejemplo, en este, que se está comiendo la, las hojas, ¿verdad? Y tuve la experiencia de, de ver cómo el gusanito está por ahí, ¿verdad? Con su excremento. Ya, como pueden observar, ya el resto está totalmente comido, ¿verdad? Ya solamente queda esto, el tallo, por ejemplo. Casi siempre vengo y le pongo agua dos, dos veces, tres veces por semana, por ejemplo, cuando ella no está. Para mí es un placer hacerlo porque tengo eh, la experiencia de, de ver el crecimiento de las matas y sentir los olores de las orquídeas, por ejemplo, que es lo que a mí más me gusta. So as Jenny was pointing out, when she came out here today, she noticed this destroyed leaf and then she went to look at what was doing the destruction and she found this interesting caterpillar. So what we'll do now, you know, we're not going to get rid of it. We love this. This is a native fern, a native caterpillar. What we'll do is figure out what that caterpillar is and, you know, get in touch with Dan Jansen or Phil DeFries and identify it and then put that on our website because with a lot of these ferns, we don't know what's eating them or what might be laying eggs on them. And in fact, ferns generally aren't considered to be plants that are much used by caterpillar larvae. So this is interesting biology. <laughs>